the so-called world powers don't want you to find out that you've got the power to rise. And we begin reading St. John 5, 14, 15, where Jesus encountered and healed a lame man at the pool of Bethesda who had been in that case for 38 years. For 38 years, they couldn't help him, wouldn't help him, and didn't help him, and wouldn't have helped him if they could. Jesus found him in the temple and said unto him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. The last thing that the devil wants you to find out is that you've got the power. Because if you find out that you've got the power, then he will have no more power over you. Why didn't you stay down there on the bed where you were? Why didn't you stay down there like, like you should? Why didn't you stay sick? What did you get up for? In other words, man, thing that got you down, grab a hold of it. Regardless of what people say or do. Jesus revealed to him his power to take authority over the thing that had him down. You're to keep getting up, meaning you're to keep going upward and onward and forward. And I like that old cliche, every day and every way I'm getting better and better. Every day and every way I'm getting richer and richer. I'm going to keep succeeding and exceeding. And you see, you have to keep yourself in that rich consciousness, in that better and better consciousness. You have to keep getting up. And this is why you have to hang around people who are of a progressive consciousness. I want you to know that life is intended to be a progressive thing. You are made whole. Sin no more. Lest a worse thing come unto thee. I'm not going through the pearly gates defeated. And the man departed and go forward into life.